Good morning, folks. Earth facing quiet steps up to the plate with the new incoming sunspot. We've got electromagnetic wave polarization animations from the SVS, the U.S. climate update for June, and a hurricane expected. We're at spaceweathernews.com, starting with the last 24 hours on our star. Taking in stable features is all there is to do right now. No big flashes of solar flares or eruptive events, and that's primarily because the new sunspot has gone steady, where despite its incredible size and number of umbral cores, it is virtually segregated magnetically, with a simpler beta classification to it at the moment, which is why we are still just in minor solar flare range. We'll continue to watch that guy today, of course, as he continues morphing. Also going to note the plasma filament standing tall behind him, at the limb. Solar wind is still slightly intensified, but the stream is nothing scary at all, and Earth's magnetic field is quite calm. The stream coming from the departing coronal hole is on our doorstep as the weekend chugs on. Could be a low-level storm disruption when it arrives, and indeed, we can already see the next dark areas turning in. Top lithospheric news this morning, apart from pre-seismic signals in the southeast Pacific, is a volcano eruption in the northwest. Kamchatka seeing the first activity at this one in 65 years. Folks, there are some new animations from the Goddard Scientific Visualization Studio. They aim to visually demonstrate the difference between linear polarization and circular polarization of electromagnetic waves. Main vector is the pathway of the wave, yellow lines are the electric field vectors, and the resulting magnetic field vectors are in green. Up next, the June U.S. climate update was released and it was another mix of hot and cold, above and below average, drought, and too much rain. Interestingly, the most volatile index has been minimum temperatures when these come out, but here, maximum, top right, appear to have the most undulation in the monthly values. Folks are seeing Tropical Storm Eugene in the East Pacific. It is expected to intensify into a hurricane today, but luckily it is slated to run northwest somewhat parallel to Baja instead of yanking the wheel to the right and on to landfall. Folks, today's podcast episode of Fly on the Wall will cover the last week on the Earth and Sun, a wrecked satellite, a new satellite that could change the sky forever, and some concerning things happening where Asia meets the Middle East. We've got pressure and radar forecasts, null school up through the atmosphere, and shots of our star to close. We'll do this all again tomorrow, right here, but right now it's 4.35 a.m. in the new valley of the sun. Eyes open, no fear. Be safe, everyone.